Hi and welcome to the Swedish Maker. Today we're going to talk about why you should buy a 3D printer. Or maybe why you shouldn't buy one. A lot of people are wondering, should I buy one or shouldn't I? And there are some things to consider. 3D printer you can do a lot of stuff, like fabricating broken parts. I mean some parts are really hard to get, so for instance this was a broken part for my Ford Transit that I couldn't find online to buy anywhere but I could 3D print it and I was lucky enough someone else had already designed it so I didn't even need to do it myself. Some people tell you you can 3D print and sell stuff. I wouldn't go as far as saying that's a business venture to get into but maybe you think other otherwise. You don't really need to be a 3D designer to use a 3D printer. There are a lot of free resources online and some you can pay for. And I have used my 3D printer for different purposes, but the one that gives me the most pleasure is when I'm solving a problem. So these are feet I made for this wooden bench we have in our greenhouse. So that the moist wouldn't get to the feet and I designed it myself because it was super easy design. And if you don't know how to design, just download Fusion 360 and go to YouTube and find someone who shows you how to do it. It's super easy. If you have kids, you can definitely use your 3D printer to print toys and even use it together with your kids, like printing together and stuff like that. So I bought this uh, Creality CR10S for about 400 bucks, including some PLA. Uh, and if your budget allows, this is a great starting point because it's cheap and it's still a good printer. If you want to go higher in price, there's a lot of options. But if you're watching this, you're probably trying to decide whether to buy one or not to buy one. And my advice is to buy something cheap, try it out. If you don't like it, maybe sell it. Or if you don't, if you find yourself not using it, sell it. There's no reason to spend a lot of money for the first 3D printer. So, some of the downsides. You should be aware you have to maintain it, and probably by yourself. With the use of, like, Google and Facebook groups and Reddit groups and whatever. Because there's a lot of help to get online but you probably have to do it yourself. Another downside is it's not like you can print a big piece of plastic in a couple of minutes. It takes a lot of time. But it's faster than ordering, unless you're printing something really big in chunks. That's gonna take a lot of time, like this uh, suit for Iron Man. That's gonna take a lot of time. That would be faster ordering. And if you are a person who enjoys solving problems and want to be creative, this is definitely something to get. So that's it. See you in the next one. And please subscribe if you want to. I would really want you to.